I found the things and I know who did it. Ugh, thanks. A brebulum brothel. Spare me the jokes about my smell. I just want what's coming to me. Access to the library and a stick of deodorant. <laughs> we keep our word here, detective. Baby fresh or mask. Ground rules as defined by the scriptures. Ye shall not willfully abuse, deface, destroy, or otherwise disturb the slumber of any book, tome, manuscript, or codex within the library. Ye shall leave all briefcases, bags, leather wine pouches, and electronica larger than a baby goat outside the library walls. Grape juice also shall be expressly forbidden. Lastly, ye shall behave in a manner appropriate to the order of Mysteria and befitting the servant of the gods. Do you smell musk? <laughs> Guessing Boots is getting bored. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Damnation! I've poured through half these books and I'm no closer to discovering the missing link. It's all superstition with no basis in reality. I came here looking for science and I found religion instead. <laughs> well, these infernal monastery. bugs are everywhere. One nearly crawled up my goose pipe. Yeah. You'd think these guys could afford an exterminator. Did you see that? Do that again. Do what? What did I do? It's the missing element to the mystic. These bugs. I should have noticed the bugs are attracted to mystic. Damn me! What are you talking about? Not only are we rich. We've now got the full power of Miztech at our greedy little fingertips. Hmm. Fetch Stiletto and bring her back here. I'll explain everything when you return. And pick up any bugs you find along the way. Yeah, but she'd be interested. Um, right, Stiletto the Leather Girl. Oof. Is that a nickname you gave her, Fatima? So to get back to that quest where you have to find the three keys, um, oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Um, the person who did it is always the person who is in the room with the candle in front, because otherwise, obviously, you can find the paperwork for it. But it's always uh, someone else. Well, it's not always someone else, but there's always the chance of it being any of the suspects. So. As far as I know, Brother Lysiria, um, the Mystic Dealer, and Sister Angela can all three be the, sus be the actual uh, person who stole them. But once you know uh, who is in the room with the candle, that is the person who actually did it that playthrough. 
and about the exposition we're going to get soon with the bugs. Yep. I never truly understood how to use the uh, that part of the mystic. I tended to stick to just either um, bought ready ready to use mystic or just fiddle around with it, but I never really understood if what I was doing was optimal. Um, again, the, go the game sort of treats it as um, you're experimenting with new technology or newfound powers, and therefore uh, there is no manual. Uh, which I can understand and respect. Uh, it just means that I was never really sure if I was using it correctly. Uh, where were we going? The library. Was it out of the way? Like the 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 actual use is simple enough. It's just to use it optimally. It's not entirely clear to me all right get ready for explaining all right we are now the deadliest people in the galaxy this latest breakthrough allows us to harness mistake modifying and configuring its functionality to create our own flexible designs the key was these bugs and this special host weren't you wondering what this was when you were pounding on it i ran across it a few years ago at a brebulent junk sale they didn't even realize it was mistake bought it for a steal anyway i've been sitting on this slag for years not quite knowing how it fit into the puzzle i'd almost given up until this handsome idiot unlocked the mystery for me you see, all pieces of mistake are just frozen slags of elementor mistake hardwired with on only one function. Fire slag burns, poison spin poisons, and so on and so forth. Some slags, however, serve as hosts that can be modified by the biological circuitry in these bugs, allowing you to create mistake that burns in one configuration and poisons with another. The bugs must have been bred or engineered to serve as data input for the mistake hosts hosts. The information must be coded into their genetic structure. Let me show you how it works. On the bottom of this host is a single node, node below a roughly hexagonal ring of six other nodes. Note the seventh one in the center. That bottommost node affects what the host does and may even harness complete control over the primary function of the bio device. So, when you place a bug on a host, certain nodes will glow with a chemical light that indicates active nodes. If you look carefully, each is slightly colored. These glowing nodes either determine what color of bug you can place in them or how happy the bugs will be with that particular slot. You will need to experiment to know for sure. Also. Some bugs contain more involved data and light up more nodes than others. Keep an eye out for these more valuable bugs. And one last thing. I have reason to believe you can feed these bugs even when they're locked into position in the host. Look around places we found mistake for anything these bugs might be eating. I found one of them chewing on a petal from one of those reblooming life flowers. So let's try some of those first. After that, maybe they eat Bippy. Yep. Okay. What well, part of my lecture didn't hear a small hand basket of neurons on the stem? Just put a bug on the bottom node, it will dictate the function of the device. Then put other bugs on some of the glowing nodes above it to complete the function, then hope you have enough energy to use it. Don't worry about the other stuff. Yeah, I'm with boots on this one. <laughs> okay. So. We want to meet up. That's our last 
part of the menu here, the Elementor. So we've got, we can get several. At the moment, we've only got one. And we have two beetles. So I could put a beetle here and it'll only light up this one. So this can now be used, but as you can see, it's not a very good uh, setup. going to uh, now that we've got our full party again going to go outside uh, have a chat with see that um, sister at the beginning where the at the entrance of uh, the village is back uh, so we'll have a uh, stiletto talk to the sister at the entrance of the village if she's back and uh, oh yeah pick up bugs i'm not really paying much attention to them at the moment but considering we're going all the way back to the entrance we can pick them up as we come back this is the flowers that give you the petals yet but already we've got a better weapon Like we want to pick up. Let's see if this responds. It does respawn, that's awesome. can uh, chat with him I don't know just because he's like science okay, no bugs no bugs no bugs uh. hmm. hi there 
Okay. That's salt. I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, there's another one there. Let's. That's all about. Hmm. Anyway, uh, and um, oh, someone else can play. Yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> Bolongo? Okay. Yeah. I've got plenty of money anyway. And waste it on stupid games. Uh, ooh. Now there's something interesting. A two function host. And another red beetle. The moon burger place. Oh yeah, I was going to take photos of the nine enigma rooms for that man. And there's nothing here. Cool. Uh, what have we got? So, we've got two different hosts now so as you can see these one have like uh what do you call it a line on them so if you put those on then it will highlight these two which means that i can put this one and this one and it's marginally better than the one i could make before i guess but to me it's like it's still in red so it's not it's a level two doesn't seem that great I might as well stick with the regular one well, this is mildly better I guess We'll need to find more of these bugs to properly use this, obviously. And if you put both of them in, then it'll highlight uh, those. Uh. Right. We'll look into that a bit more when we've got more bugs. Now we need to ask for an audience with the Grand Mysterium. Safe. 
before we do that.